Friday, the 20th of July. Andrew is luckily feeling better today, but he's tired, so he's still lying in bed resting this morning. So Jamie and I had breakfast in the hotel, and now we are going out sightseeing for a little bit. It's now 10 o'clock, and we try to go out for a little bit before it gets too hot, because it said today is going to be 48 degrees. So it could be this afternoon we're just stuck in the air-conditioned hotel room. Um, but we'll try to go out for a little bit now and walk slowly. So I'm walking through this nice park here. Going to see some Marcelino. A quite nice walk here. Okay, now we uh, find a fun fair before when we start to go here to we try to find a mosque. The Fortunately, I've got no internet here, so we can't read what it's about. But it must be like a place where somebody is buried, I suppose. Oh, That's my guess. Oh, okay, I'm out and about, just about. It's, uh, what, I don't know, 24 hours of being in bed now, probably more than that. See if we can get something to eat. Maybe see if I can. Haven't eaten anything for the past day. I see if we can eat something now. But, uh, got a little bit more energy today than yesterday. Yesterday I had no energy at all. Couldn't even do anything. But let's see. Now I'm out. First time in a day. <laughs> so we're sitting here in Bukhara still, um, and thinking about the Pamir Highway, which is, uh, you say it, second highest road in the world that you can cycle on. It's the uh, holy grail for adventure touring cyclists. So that's what we're considering now, whether we go that way. It'll take us all the way to Bishkek, Tajikistan like and Kyrgyzstan. So. This, we have read that it should be very nice scenery in the mountains, but it's a bit cooler and then there should also be a lot of cyclists on the, the road. So it sounds quite good apart from the the height. Okay, so now we're just doing a Tajikistan e visas. That was really simple. Just one hour on the computer. Oh, it's all done. <laughs> so that was easier than getting to Iran. <laughs> so I just filled out uh, Tajikistan e visas online. I got a new e visa system. So uh, makes it quite easy really to get a visa now, like it was a, a while ago. Now it's a uh, much easier to get a visa to visit the country. So uh, just heard as well that Uzbekistan a few days ago also launched their e-visa system. So that will make it much easier for people to travel to Uzbekistan now. So that was good. It didn't take long. Well, it took about an hour, but uh, quite simple really. So um, that's done. So uh, yeah, now we'll um, see if I can get my hair cut and then in the morning if my stomach's okay, we should be back on the road nice and early. Let's see if that's possible. Okay, I think this should be our last day now in uh, Bukhara. I think my stomach's just about okay now. I've got no energy, but maybe that's just the heat. I think the heat's taking our energy away from us. But uh, hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be up early and uh, setting off on the way to Samarkand. Now, Samarkand is another major big city on the Silk Road, so that should be good to see that. I think it's probably going to take four or five days to get there. It's 270 kilometers away so but we can only cycle in the morning from very early five o'clock six o'clock until lunchtime maximum. It's going to be 48 degrees the next three days so the heat is going to slow us down a lot so we can only cycle in the morning. In the afternoon it's just impossible. It's just uh, so we have to try and get to, to hotels the next few days here. So um, 
but that was good. We also did a bit of planning for the road ahead. We wasn't sure which way we would uh, take from Bukhara, but now we we decide to uh, ride on what is known as the Pamir Highway. It's uh, known to be the holy grail for adventure touring cyclists. So uh, that should be good. It will take us all the way to to Bishkek, riding through the countries of uh, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. So another two stands. So uh, it's a road, ride, a route that a lot of touring cyclists take. Actually, the people come just just to this region just to cycle on the Pamir Highway. So. From what we heard, it's tough going, but uh, not too tough, and uh, quiet and remote. But you see people on the way, so let's uh, let's see. But first, we've got a few days in Samarkand, and then uh, we'll be heading to Dushanbe, and uh, from there we'll start on the Pami Highway. So let's uh, let's hope the next few days go okay. My stomach settles down, and uh, we we'll get back into a routine. Another good thing of climbing the Pami is it. Uh, it's going to be cooler up there. We'll start climbing mountains again, so we'll get out of this heat here. So uh, should be cooler again. I've even heard we need a warm sleeping bag on the top, so it should be nice. <laughs> get away from this heat. Wouldn't thought I'd be saying that, but uh, this heat just zaps all your energy. It's really, really tough going. But um, it's been great to be here. Really, really enjoyed Bukhara. Even though I had a bad stomach here, it was a really nice place to visit. Much more touristy than I imagined but uh, really nice place to be so um, excellent place really pleased we came here so okay I'll see you in the morning on the road to Samarkand